There we go. Awesome. What Tom can make. Okay. So I've always wanted to uh, see what it looks like on the other side when people <laughs> go into a breakout room. So I wanted to divide um, you guys up uh, before we get started today, just so I can see. I'm real nosy. And then I wanted to review uh, things that we've covered so far or things that you may already know from previous. And then we're going to talk about the D suffix a little bit. And then uh, we're going to have a break. We're going to practice some storytelling together. I'm going to ask for some volunteers. And then we're going to look at those VTA charts just because um, they came up <laughs> recently among uh, so uh, yeah that is today so we'll have three rounds two minutes each um, first round uh, talk about your favorite food or your go-to quarantine snack what you've been munching on too much of during quarantine or just enough of uh, some words you can say are uh, min padan, min padanen, I like the taste of them, or na min pua, na min puak. These were the words that I started the beginners with when I taught in person to get them familiar with uh, choosing the correct verb to go with uh, their noun. So even if you um, were eating two things, one was inanimate and one was animate, you would say, um, like Doritos, no, Doritos, Minwa, Odaminan, Nui, Mijinan. So whatever noun was closest to the verb, that's which verb you choose. So you could say Min Padanan, Daminan, Minwa, Kwejagasak. So you can choose the one verb, but it has to match the noun that's closest to it. And then for the second round, talk about what you like to do. Min Wen Don, this is from Senna's class, so you're real lucky if you get Senna in your group. <laughs> Min Wen Don, we gin das ya, I like to read. Bish Gen Don is also another way of saying I like something. Um, this is your A form plus B form. And then C. Talk about what you're get, good at or would like to be good at. Um, for example, do nata nishna bem. We can probably start saying that soon <laughs> after quarantine <laughs> with all these awesome classes. And then, um, or I would like to be good at, I desire to be good at something. Miss Wendon, we, nata. Uh, ooh, I meant to put Nina on there. I wish to be a good dancer. I'm gonna start watching Gintube videos some tutorials or is it TikTok? All right. Oh, we have another person. Okay, so I'm going to try this out. Bear with me. Remember, the first one is uh, for two minutes. I'll set a timer and whoever you end up with, uh, that's your partner for life. <laughs> the Shaw the kit. Um, that's what you're going to talk about your medium. Try to use as many kid women as you can and help each other out. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try this out. Can you set a timer? Options. Oh, okay, get it. Hmm. A ton comic. I don't even have to use my Giga Dumbi opcons. <laughs> How was that too short of a time? Nishingo. Now, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I got to pop into one once I figured out how to do it. Ever cool. Quite ton comic. Now, I'll try again, but the second time. Talk about what do you like to do? Min Wen Don, 
we uh gaya. I like to teach. Or in Bishgandan. Gedakitwe Abidek Sago. Okay, back off. Mm -hmm. Oh, again. <laughs> so all we're doing is we're taking a couple minutes to uh, talk about something that we like to do, and then I'll bring you back. Back, minupska beak. Now, so squatch. The last time, um, what you're good at or what you would like to be good at. Don't nata to be good at something. Miss Wendon, we nata. Jiba um, kweya, I wish to be a good cook. So those are some of the words that you can use. Aha. So some lesson goals or questions, um, hopefully we'll be able to ask are similar to uh, where did you see him, when did you see him, why did you call him, uh, when did you call him. So these are content questions. Just a review. So far we've covered a few directions of interaction. Um, you to me, I decided to put that as the the root word, uh, the imperative form, because uh, it is handy to use. And uh, so wabam to see someone, genoj to call someone. Sometimes that's even written with an S, both are fine. We also covered um, me to you or me to her um, um, like uh, mom kwa I see a bear or nui um, na nos she to me wab mik and gino nick are some of the examples that we used. Uh, All you would really change there is the N in front of the tensed prefix or have it a G depending on uh, who it is. And uh, me to you, wa min, like ba ma pi ko wa min, I'll see you. Ba ma pi ko ganonin, I'll talk to you later. Those are some of the some of the items that we covered. Now how? So, as mentioned earlier, I would I said we would talk about uh, things that we might already know. Um, Nawab ma, I see someone. Giwa ma na, did you see her? Wab man, there's that obviative. Wab man, uh, he sees her. Or uh, you can even put different tenses in front of there, like. Uh, Gi wab man, he saw her. We wab man, he wants to see her. Uh, Gi genonik, he called me. Da genonan, he'll call her. Da genonan, that's a little bit uh, new. I don't usually use that tense prefix. Um, the da there on the right, you can see, is future. It is not to be used for me or you, it's um, like other people. So we have tenses that appear in different formats. We have gi and ga, 
ga is the changed form of gi for past tense. We and wa, wa is the changed form. Ga, future, definitely will happen. And da, future, eh, present. Wa, look at that, I, <laughs> I used a C. Uh, uh, and then sometimes tenses are written with uh, double letters. Uh, it just depends on the learner or the speaker or the writer. Uh, for example, uh, there are lots of people that just omit that completely because the ending of the word or the verb uh, tells you anyway what's happening. But that G is key and I use that still. Or sometimes when I'm texting, I'll just put a K there. Like, uh, I'll put a K sometimes, especially with newer learners, uh, people who are just, uh, asking me questions uh, over text. So back on the left side, uh, we could change that N to uh, talk about him, him calling you. the content question. So many of you are already familiar, if not all, about content questions. So it's a question asking um, for more detail. So we all know that the na refers to a yes or no question. Where is Apish? When is Anish P? what onish uh, and also in wequem kong i hear uh wagonesh wenesh wagonen uh why onish uh, plus uh, n j i n j n j how onish plus the j j so sometimes I can get confusing whether to use the nj or the j. Just takes practice. And who winish? Um, McQuendon. Shijajago. Um. I can't remember the exact sentence, but I just remember asking my aunt a question and it was, um, there were cupcakes or gego washkabang anyway, something sweet on the table. And I, I think I said wenesh about them. And she just looks at me and she says, wenesh, wegenen. So now I know over there that like cupcakes are not animate over there or cookies. So now whenever I'm around my aunt, I try to use that wenesh very carefully. Seems like more things are animate in Chiging than in Wikam Kong. So here's a little bit of what I wanted to do tonight. Uh, these are verbs that we've already seen together. Wab ma to see someone, genona to call someone like on the phone or talk to, quejma to ask, anish p wa wab mut, anish p wa wab mut. Sometimes and very rarely I've seen that be a t written as a t. Um, I tend to use the D Anish P Wa Wab Mutt. When are you going to see him or her? Somebody. 
Ganona, Anish Ganja Ganonat. Why did you phone him or her? There's that nj for the why. Anish Ganja Ganonat. Why did you phone him? Quejma, Anish P. Wa Quejmat. When are you going to ask him? So we have two when questions and we have a why. Anish Ganje. Gnonat. So all we really did is we removed one A at the end of the long vowel. We just took out the last A and put a D there or a T. Okay, next slide. Anish Ediming. I was like, what do I want to put here? Translate or what does it mean? Oh well, yeah, I'm going to change my mode here. My view. All right, so have a look at these. If you want to try to translate, you can put it on your paper then wait or add it to the chat. Manish editing, what does it mean? <laughs> oh, a wabish go a mine gun. So, first one is a pish gi wab mutt. A pish gi wab mutt. Anish ediming. And then we have ginona, anish p wa ginonat, anish ganja quej mutt. You are Senna. We watch Jacob. Well. Apparently, Ganona is my favorite word. I keep writing talk. OK, 
Yep, Apish Giwa Mutt. Where did you see him or her? Like, maybe you could say that if your uh, Nimosh went missing and ran away. Apish Giwa Mutt. Not Mutt as in the Nimosh, but. <laughs> and it's Shin Miigwech. Anish P. Waganonut, when are you going to call him or her? Anish Ganjikwejmat, why did you ask him or her? Now how? We'll try something again. There it is. You can delete that now. Oop. Now how? Okay, so you can uh, try this out over there at your end, and uh, we'll type these answers together. We have not a moa. That's a verb that we covered together to help someone. Bina to bring someone, and kwetwa. I started it off for you. How would you change not a moa to fit it with apish p wa o? How would you change not a moa? Yep, awesome. Miigwech sena, zagate. Minwa, bina. Yes, Jacob, you got it, or Rochelle. Apish, wa, oh, not a moa. Oh, that's supposed to be anish. Wa, koinjida. Pane, pane, pane. Oh, oh, thank goodness I was on mute. I told you the answer for the last one. Quetwa. There we go. <laughs> thank goodness I was on mute. Ah, miigwech, Jacob. Sena. So what are we saying anyway? Or what are we typing? Anish pi wa o what? When are you gonna go and help him or her? Anish P wa binat. When are you going to bring him or her? Kwetwa. Anish P wan kwetwat. When are you going to answer him or her? Now we'll take a five minute break. Six, I was waiting for it to turn to 640. <laughs> 6.45. 
when we come back, we're going to try an activity together. It won't be in the, the breakout rooms this time. It'll just be all together. We'll see how that goes. It's something I've been wanting to try as well. Remember, I'll need some volunteers. We'll probably just try five or six to start with. Gapskabi nano de bagas. Ani. So we are going to try an activity. Storytelling. Also, King. The Bajama was son. Bajman. Oh, I need a. So, Senna would be a good volunteer for this. <laughs> Have you ever heard of uh, story cubes? And <laughs> that was my favorite game at Eshkineshna Bemjik Immersion. One of them. So I was really, um, I'm really inspired by some of you because I know many of you have um, explored different teaching activities and um, games. I know uh, Rochelle, for example, is really uh, on top of it with being creative and figuring out ways to play during this uh, social distancing and over just distance in general. So if you want to volunteer, I'll pick one at a time. Uh, you can put your names, we'll go in that order. And what you're going to do is you're going to make up a story to the best of your ability, just using Anishinaal Bemuin. And these are actually little pictures from a game called Rory's Story Cubes. And uh, I actually do have these. I just forgot them. <laughs> so what I did was I, I found them online. I'm super resourceful. And this is kind of a little bit, uh, they're just dice. And they have tiny little uh, pictures on them. So I'll just draw them random randomly whenever it's your turn. I was going to try to, um, there's all kinds of uh, things you can do out there technology wise. You can put um, games together on different platforms and even use, uh, You can even find apps that'll make dice and you can put the images on them and it'll roll them for you and you can flip cards over. It's kind of cool, but also time consuming. So, awesome. Quite ton comic. So, oh, quite ton comic. Check out that background. Nodge one. <laughs> All right, so I need some volunteers. If you want to put your name in the chat, we'll go in that order. And if you, you don't have to, just listen. It's not about being perfect, it's just about practicing what we know and just having a good time. I'll give you an example. Awesome, big wedge. So for an example, I would put Chimeoja um, a long time ago. And Giwab Ma, what did I see? I'm gonna pick a different picture. Or, or just add to the story. Giwab Ma, Bejik, Kwa, Nem Debit, uh, get to Ghaning, sitting in the garden. Oh man. Gigo Ogimwan. He's eating a fishy. 
and so on. So it'll be super random. So I have Senna, Rochelle, Kevin, and a Wapshka mine gun. Awesome. <laughs> Me glad. <laughs> now. Okay, I'll start with the Senna. I'll put them. Ah, Senna, Gin Tum. Uh -huh. Oh, Mishike. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <-huh. laughs> uh, in good thing. Uh, Bungie, Mishiken, Mishikenens, Mishikenens, Gashine, Mishikenens, Gi Bamadege, Jigbik. Shit. So, can you share with others um, the sentence that you were saying? So, I think I said in Gooding. So, one time uh, there was a little turtle uh, playing in the water or splashing about in the water um, by the shore. Okay. Which so we have Rochelle next. Jiton Rochelle. Remember just to shake the bag, not I don't have to shake myself either. Oh <laughs> so Gingwa, what the picture looks like. Um Nishna Bemo and Tam, then uh Jaganashimo in to help the next person. Now Minchen uh new and gay off a mazinchigan. Mishnik Niswe Ni Niwen. Uh huh. And as a shoulder. Oh. Okay. Um um Okay, now we're going to call it one. Should be here, yeah. Okay, I'll be now. Um, be me now. Okay. <laughs> Norman, take a little bit of a chicken. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get Wasanago gi ne che chebisa mampi minawa pi nimki ka gi dago shinawad kina wea wasko nenjigan gi ate bijige ate bijigean minawa Chidepe kate mum pi en dayan. Ningi nakaza ninj jigigweja ma kan gego jimijian. Ningi makwa bejik mashimen. Minawa ningi che pukweman. Minawa ningi ma ka dendam pi. Was oh, was konenjigan nan ki ah, what do you mean? Ah, what do you mean? Ah, ka was kone minawa genajuan ningwa ningwagan ki ah, ki beja, beja. Mumpi gijgo conning. Nendam Kena we a ma ka dendam. So what I said was the day before last, 
it was really, or what I tried to say, because it was probably wrong in a million ways. Um, the day before last, it was really raining here. And when the lightning and thunder came, all of the lights went out. And it was very dark in the house. And so I used my hands to try to find something to eat. And I found an apple. And I took a big bite of the apple. And I was amazed that the lights came on. And uh, that a rainbow came into the sky. And I think that, I think I said this, I don't remember. I, I think that lots of people were amazed. That's what I tried to say. I don't, uh -huh. Some of those words were there. Pretty good, me, Gwetch. Uh -huh. So the next person, I would like you to remember the story so far. Remember we had Shike, Ma, and I'd like you to try to <laughs> add to it. <laughs> I see someone really enthusiastic. A wapshka mine gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a preference? Oh, oy, oy. <laughs> what? What? How? Uh, Javua, much time, uh, Nina Jacadong, uh, well, when I see his Nicosit. Mashtanish? Mashtanish? No. Uh, how? Gonna quend on Gaja way, but uh, get you now a ja jig big, uh, gee, gee, the gee care, um, she care, uh, me dash, uh, get get you not you what, uh, up, you can, uh, Got can a wask an engine and then a tab a doll guard there. God then on a midash aoya a machine man machine man on more an aoya. Yeah, gas can a ingoje gia gibe ya monish tarnish. Uh, je gi gi ke kwache gi we gosh we go ke ken the see uh the walk car gun in uh tamagat minwa uh gi ba ba ya ma wete ote Oshtode, Kananga Jagi, Gibbayat, Geg P, Geg P, Geg P go. Ah, Geken, Boaken, Boaken Don, Boaken Wabn Don, Geken Abn Don. The walk hard, gun in. Midash Giwet. Nisa, so a long time ago, there was a turtle over by the beach there, and he was playing around, and then and then then there was a terrible storm, and the lights went out, and someone ate an apple, and oh, and then what did I say? Oh yeah, there was uh, a sheep. Suddenly there was a sheep all of a sudden trying to get home, but he, he didn't know how to get home. 
he walked all over. He walked here. He was there. He was all over. And then, uh, and then he recognized his house and he went home. With you. Staha. Shin. How fascinating. <laughs> Me guach. There. Kevin Keen Tum. Dun dun dun. Can you add to the Dabaj Moas, please? Um Gin Gua, how many would you like? I wasn't here for two of them. Um I was here physically, but some of them. <laughs> Not spiritually, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm just uh, just make it up. Okay, doesn't okay. matter. Okay, Ani Munich. Um, Ani Munich is what? Ani Munich Aja. Ibena, shke. Ibena. Uh, maybe. Nahal. Yes, shit. Nahal. Aliyah. Oba Mikawan. A. 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 Mina etigo e nazikaman. Ima a kina ingu. Mazana agana. Um. Mish, mina get to go. And no cause I'm just using the two little, the two ones. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. All right. <coughs> you all see me from the cockpit? Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Ingo dinga go me oja ie yen da goban awe inini uh a ta gave ninis gie na gie jana kazo awe inini o o o dayan o gie yawan mishi kenyan uh ga awe ned o dayan um winge winge sana Ginunde atage away nini. Kinage go dash gi gabako egade ne. Gain dash gego gi bakasis no ne. Um, yeah. Winge dash we atage. Ivide a ing atage gamipung. Um, gi gija. O dayan, mishikian, o gi binan. Ivide. Atagi or Gamagong. The Shkeresh away, get the magazine away, Nini, Nini's, Tagi, Nini's, Gai, we come, Muja, Kago, Gi, Bakanagi, Sin, Manjgopi, Ejad, Evide, Tagi or Gamagong. Ajago Dash, Ogi, Binan, Away to Bejakai, Kodug, a Pugajagan son, Bejak, Away, a Pugajagan son, Ogi, Binan. Um, I mean, and also, and also, and also, yeah, and also, a pug did not renew a pug a grandson. Um, the buck, uh, the buckinage, a yin and a mizan. Um, yeah, but you give be not a new pug a gigant. Ah, but oh, the tamuad. Oh, in a way, a tagi we're gonna go. In you in in any, in any one, you know, key in it, ma. Ogi ni me kago, ogi ni me kago an. Oye, mishike, mino a oye a tagi we ni. Taje, taje ego ad. Ani ni no a, ani shwenge ya ya ego ma. Oh, kaje na kweto ad oye a tagi we ni. Oh, on je on go man da ya. A pug jagans ni gi bi na je bakina ge yan. Um and da bi ge na de kunag ho away ni pug jagansim. 
away dash in you dash in any in anyone gaja na kwe ta good gawesa gawesa gin we ka kida bi kida bin de ge kida bin de ganasi away a pug jagans me to go away kimishi ke kimishi mishi ke sim kida be bin de gana o ma ta ge we gonna go um Gaja a pug gaja a pug denied in you for the pug jagan simon. Yeah, me away gaja way visit away nini a tag even nini. Uh, Anish Garlin Ogi Buckinagi seen. Uh, Gi 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 way benad in you for the pug jagan simon. Me. <clears throat> so that was a really weird story, but um, yeah, we're gonna knock it in. <laughs> basically, there was this dude. His name was Gambling Man, and uh, he he had uh, so he had a pet turtle, I guess, because it just came out of nowhere. So he had a pet turtle, right? And he was like, "Oh, you know, I really want to win, really want to win some money, but everything's closed." And then finally, um, everything opened up. Um, and so he went to the casino and brought his brought his pet tor turtle and brought his special dice, which he would use to win. And then he got there, and then the worker dude in the beginning or at the casino was like, "Hey, you can't come in here with your own dice, man, because it's probably illegal." And he's like, "Okay, fine." So he throws it away. Oh, and then the guy said, well, you can only come in here with a girl. You can't bring your dice. And so he threw his dice away. But then he didn't win because that was his lucky dice, you know. So because he didn't bring his dice and he didn't win. But he went in with his turtle. And that was the story. <laughs> that was the story. That's all I got. Good time, Kamek. Staha. Good time to talk in. That's okay. Miigwech. Miigwech. Yeah, he does. How awesome! Well, I applaud your efforts. Uh, it's it's very brave of you to try. I know it, it can be scary, but um, <clears throat> it's good that you practice, and uh, maybe you can look back on today, and maybe. A year from now, we can play again together, and then you get to see how much you improved. <laughs> how? So, Bungie, what call? So I might make a an error somewhere there, Kevin. Kishpin. Kita Naramage. Here is um uh, <clears throat> I was just talking about how these grammar terms um confuse me. I have to use a dictionary to try to figure out what they mean and even hear examples and see them applied. <clears throat> Some of those things that were confusing to me were the personal uh, pronoun, the pronouns. Uh, one of the things that we tried to practice were the, uh, the paradigm charts, and I can look them up, and they're done all different kinds of ways. Uh, basically the same content, just sometimes organized differently. <clears throat> but one thing I, I've stumbled upon where the, the code is like 1S, 2S, 3S, and then if it's not told explicitly what it is, then I, I don't really get it. <clears throat> so I've included that here in case you would like to attempt um, practicing on your own if everyone everyone if anyone ever hands you one of those charts and you look at it you're just like oh geez what do I do with this well hopefully this will help you <clears throat> so 
Here we have one S is a first person singular. So me or I, two S, uh, the second person singular, three S, she or him, the third person singular, one P, we excluding but not you, so us but not you, like if I'm talking to you, two uh, P, uh, if I'm talking to you, it's us including you, uh, 3P, they, them, their, <clears throat> 2 one, first person plural, and then I recently just um, learned that sometimes when you see zero, it, um, not sometimes, it's inanimate, it's someone else, and then as I was practicing these charts, I thought, why would I want to say, um, something did something to me or or I just I didn't get it and then uh, fellow language learners they're good to have around because <laughs> they run into the same situations and they pick up different things and we all put it together like one beautiful puzzle so uh, some examples where uh, if I if something makes me mad it makes me mad or what was another example? Oh, it, it was it like it, it burned me or something like that. You watch Kevin. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. That would be infinity. <laughs> you glitch. All right, that's all by now. <laughs> I shot a kid. <laughs> All right, I hope I clicked on the right thing. Do you see the paradigm chart looking thing? Super. So like I said, these can be organized in different ways. And for me as a learner, those codes weren't helpful to me. So I had to kind of organize it in, um, in a way that works for my brain, that makes sense to me. And I made a little note up here so I remember. So, Nuichke, Alan, Ojik, Jinkaza, uh, advised me to practice by writing them out over and over again. However, I kind of stopped after the first seven actors and kind of plateaued for a while and just because it seems really daunting to me but um, when i did do it i noticed it helped me really retain and remember better but one way that we did it too was over flashcards so i would make up these flashcards and just use the pictures and try to this is what i did with kids as well um, use different symbols to explain to them. Like some of the students were able to say, um, if they were going to a powwow, um, nui, gish, na na, um, and even do that na na nick, um, those changes just simply by using <clears throat> the aid of flashcards. Talking about going to thing like a taco or beads uh so i did it this way it might not um 
be your kind of what you're used to. However, this is how it helped me. Um, I've just kind of taken two different charts and kind of converted them into my own. <clears throat> and this is just one. So there are um, a few different words. We call them, or they call them stems. Uh, basically different endings. So we had the A-W stem words, and then now we have the A-M. And I read somewhere that these ones are regular, whatever that means. <laughs> so this is one of the regular ones. Wabum. Wabum is that imperative, that command to uh, say, look, look at um, so I have you to me, gawabum, you all to me, you to us, all of you to us, me to her, and then in the brackets there, that's plural for them. So nawabma, nawabmak. So whenever you see it in the brackets on the Anishinaab M1, that's the plural form. And the reason why I had yellow highlighted there for myself is because that's the one I was forgetting. Um, for some reason I was, I don't know, my brain was lazy and I was just omitting that and I needed to highlight that for myself to be like, hey, hey you remember that. So uh, there's also the obviative form that goes with these as well, but I excluded those because it would, it's a long, it's a lot. So go album, go album. So look at the bolded endings there. So in theory, you can use all of those endings with any of the words that end in am. For example, a shum. A shum. So all you would do is replace the wabum with shum. But it's a little bit different because we, I would actually say uh, the shum, but I think in Minnesota, the one Minnesota app I have, it said uh, gede a shum. Gede a shum, but I'll just say gede shum. So G D A flashing. But, yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. So, would you like to try to fill these in with me? We can do it all together one other time. Yes. Miigwech. Kevin, you got that right. That is that is where I got it from. I'm used to seeing or hearing. There's our sham. There's our. All right. If you want to help out, add some answers in the chat box. Yep. Set him.
Sí, tal cual. Watch. Sanus. Yeah. When Panat bullets. The next one. I'm used to seeing it like that, you know? You know? I'll just drop all those vowels over here. I need to buy a vowel. <laughs> yep, yeah, does shamak. Okay, let's yeah. Yeah. Dasham. Seven twenty-four. Mashidamajisina. Okay. So you could. <laughs> Uh, that's why many of us stop, I think, after a while. So, in theory, if you really want to practice, you can keep going and uh, just plug in different verbs to look for someone. Bans and um, how do I know that? Well, Manyan's dictionary helped. I think I will share the dictionary. This is what I did. What you can do, because I don't have a dictionary on me right now, because I searched um. I want to find those imperatives that end in um. I selected advanced options, 
put in the verb. Checked off VTA. Mishnah Bamuin, word, and ending with. So it brought up everything that ended with um that was in this dictionary. So if I click on one, borrow something from somebody, gama, and I scroll down, and then here's the word we're using, the imperative. What is that? Um. And uh, um, what I noticed, uh, uh, okay, so this is what I'm going to be doing over the next little while personally is working through the paradigm charts on my own time just to memorize the endings. Because one of my buddies here actually did that and became a really good speaker. And I'm always asking them for help. And uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like a, ch a child anymore, so I can't, I can't learn simply just by listening anymore. So that's what I'm going to buckle down and start doing for myself. Because it was really inspiring to see uh, my learners, uh, fellow learning friends, do and um like i said there's other endings as well uh stems if i can find that website Kajinamon, i will show you because i asked a friend uh well what a because there's this always this one that's floating around this paradigm and i said well what about all the other words and and i was told uh, well, that's for like 30 year students in university. Like, what? I want to know it now. <laughs> I want to uh, be able to apply it right now. Um, so I would start off with the regular because there's tons of resources for that everywhere. And then what I would do is try to attempt the other, other ones as well. There's a really good website for that. I'll show you right now. Share screen. So here, these are all the different endings I was telling you about that could be in the paradigm chart that you can play with. We started off with this one. And here's all the different subjects. That's what I mean. Like, this is the reason why I was only showing a little bit. Because <laughs> if I showed it like this, then it would look extra scarier. But all these subjects here, I had a hard time when I first looked at it. Like I said, I'm like, I have no idea what any of that means. So this chart's not going to be very helpful to me. That's why I tried defining some of those for you today. And then if you click on the top, you can see the... Uh, the O stem words and any of the other consonant endings like mij are here as well. So all you need to really do is practice understanding the, the codes. First person to myself. That's what that first one is there. And then the N endings. And then the other endings. So I'll put that link here. Somewhere. And that brings us. <laughs> okay. So here's that link. If you want to explore those paradigms, maybe put some Samo down first. <laughs> Help me, not a motion. That's what I'm going to be up to, in case anybody's wondering. And hopefully, I get better at speaking more fluidly instead of trying to work my way around saying things just because I don't know how to say it. It just takes that dedication to sit down and work through all these different these different patterns and 
like I said, that, that website even lays out the paradigm differently and I wasn't really getting it that way. Because I like to see the, the nice endings kind of match up and transition. So I organized it what, how it works for me and you can do the same for yourself too. And that's 7.30. Bye. Yeah, miigwech. It's really important. And I think that you guys are ready for this. So just buckle down. <laughs> now, miigwech, bejaik. Wewene, angwamzik. Take care.